Single strategy, concept number six, emotional anchor. Hold the line, hold the percentage line. You're in the most offensive position, the ball is below the level of the net. You have to jam your opponent, you have to go back up the line. You play a defensive volley from an offensive position. Watch Sampras, Sampras is so great at taking the low volley, going right back where the ball came from. I love to ask students questions. I want feedback. And I say, why hold the line? The answer, when it comes down to information in tennis, has to start with the beginning. You hold the line, and this is what the answer we want. You hold the line because the ball's below the level of the net. And when the ball's below the level of the net, I have to open the racket face up slightly. And when the racket face is open up slightly, I have to take speed off the shot. I'm not in an offensive position. I can't put the ball away. So. When, when it comes down to coming into the net, it's not always a matter of trying to put the ball away for a winner. And that comes down to a skill, being able to play the low volley. When it comes down to something I said earlier, psychology, we sum up psychology in one word, feelings. And then there's one major problem is avoidance. And then many times players will avoid going to the net because they haven't done their homework, they've hit so many more ground strokes than they have volleys, also, they have poor technique. But put that down when it comes down to just the seven concepts that hold the line. Hold the percentage line. Ball's low, you go right back where the ball came from, you jam your opponent, and then hopefully it's on the very next ball that you get a high ball, and then you put that ball away.